Hey guys, it's Miss Ginger. I'm going to read you a book today about patience. I know everybody likes the Berenstain Bears, and they teach us really good lessons. Does everybody know what being patient means? Being patient means that you wait on people nicely, you use kind words, you take your time. So let's see what the Berenstain Bears have to say about Brother, sister, and honey bear enjoyed helping mama and papa in the garden. There was a fine vegetable garden in the backyard, as well as beautiful flower beds all around the bear's family treehouse. Sorry, pages stuck together. The cubs helped plant seeds. They helped plant seeds and water and they did the weeds and they helped pick the vegetables when they were ripe. One spring morning as the family worked in the garden, Papa posed a question. Cubs, he said, would you like to have a garden of your very own? You mean we can have our own plots of land, brother asked? That's right, said Papa. And we can grow whatever we want. Of course, said Papa. You'll have to do all the work yourselves, though. I'll teach you self-reliance. Yay, said Honey. That's a good idea, Papa, said Mama. It will help teach the cubs patience, too. You have to be very patient when helping things grow. Papa and Mama guided the cubs in selecting plots of ground, for their gardens, and the cubs laid them out with stakes and strings. Then the whole family went down to Rough Grizzly's hardware store to buy some seeds. It was hard to select which vegetables to grow. There were so many different kinds. Brother chose cucumbers, tomatoes, celery, lettuce, and parsley and sister picked carrots and squash, radishes, potatoes, and peas. Honey loved flowers. She stood gazing at the pretty pictures on the seed packages for a long time, and finally she just grabbed a big handful. The next day, the cubs set to work. It was hot, hard labor. Brother and sister were very organized. First, they turned up the soil with shovels and worked in the fertilizer. Next, they made neat rows and dug small holes to drop the seeds in. Then they made signs from the seed packages to mark the end of each row. Finally, they got out the hose and gave the gardens a good soaking. It did require a lot of patience. Honey went about things a little differently. She tore off the top of her flower seed packages and stood in the middle of her plot. She closed her eyes, held her arms out, and spun around and around, and the flower seeds flew everywhere. Brother and sister were a little bit startled. Honey, said sister, I don't think that's going to work. You need to till the ground before you plant seeds. Pretty flowers, said Honey, pointing at the picture on one of the empty packages. Yes, but, began Brother. Honey ran off chasing a butterfly, and Brother and Sister just shrugged. The next day, Brother and Sister checked their gardens to see if anything was sprouting, but it was too soon. They went out the next morning, too. There was nothing doing. Every day they checked their plots, but nothing seemed to be happening. And the cubs started to grow impatient. When is our garden going to sprout, they asked Mama and Papa. You have to be patient, said Mama. Have faith that you, what, you have will plant, what you have planted will grow in God's good time.
Seems to me I remember lines in the Bible about that, said Papa. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it, until he receives the early and the late rains. You also need to be patient. That's from the book of James, said Mama. The cub sighed, just wishing things didn't take so long. The next day, brother and sister wearily trudged out to check on their gardens one more time. All along each row, little green shoots were pushing up. Mama, Papa, they called, come look, our garden's starting to grow. And then they noticed Honey's little plot. Their mouths dropped open. Honey's garden was filled with beautiful flowers. Big ones, little ones, red ones, pink ones, yellow and blue ones. They were gorgeous. Well, honey, said Papa with a chuckle, God certainly made your garden grow and you've shown us the power of faith and trust along with patience. Pretty flowers, said Honey happily. A dove cooed in a nearby tree. Flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come, and the cooing of doves is heard in our land, Mama quoted. I hear the dove and I see the flowers, said Papa. Now how about a little singing? And he got down on one knee and he sang to Mama. My wild bearish rose, the fairest flower that grows. Really, Papa, said Mama blushing. What will the cubs think? But the cubs just giggled in delight. So in our story today, we learned that to help your garden grow, they had to be really patient and wait on God's timing. And gardens grow with water, rain from the sky, and with sunshine. And the flowers that honey planted did that too. So just remember the next time you get impatient, everything's in God's time. And we need to be patient and wait on Him. You guys have a good day.